Do you say blue for dirt off the rocks? What? I did say blue for dirt off the rocks. Oh, 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 oh. It's bloody stressful with all that gear. We sort of don't know how this is going to sit. Well, There's always going to be a bit of a challenge and it's proving to be that already. We haven't even got onto a rock yet. Yep, yep. Yeah, surely. Surely. Yep. Yeah, boy. We're on. We're on. Oh, oh, oh. oh it's a tuna. It's a tuna. It's a tuna. We're fishing an adventure. We normally are filming a TV show, but we're not doing that. We're doing missions like this one right here. How epic. This is fishing an adventure side mission. Yeah. This fishing and adventure side mission is proudly brought to you by Hyapool. Good morning everybody. Morning Michael. Morning. What's the plan my friend? It's going to be a big, uh, we've got a big mission planned. Full send, all the way to the bottom of the country. Upship Creek, our little boat was already down there. Frosty drove it down the other day. It's sitting at the Queenstown Airport in 20 minute parking for about four days. <laughs> so that's going to be a fine <laughs> half. But anyway, we're going to get, a, well the plan is to get a bluefin tuna off the rocks. In New Zealand. Did you say bluefin tuna off the rocks, Michael? I did say bluefin tuna off the rocks. <laughs> we don't know if anybody has ever done it before. Not sure. Um, Pretty sure they haven't. So it'll be, so, a, it'll be New Zealand first, which will be epic. Um, but a lot of uh, things happen between now and then, my friends. So uh, let's get to the airport. All right. See you there. Come on. <laughs> Our uh, run from Hamilton to Auckland is going pretty well, so we're still on schedule. So we're about, yeah, from Hamilton it's about an hour and a half. And uh, we're just sitting in a little bit of niggly traffic, but it's not too bad. Still got, still going alright, but we're one breakdown or one uh, flat tyre away from being well out of schedule. But should be all good. Cross fingers, should be right. We made it. Sorry. Well, I'm listening. I think so. Yep. Alrighty, off the check-in. Got all our gear loaded up, so hopefully we can catch up with Ben and we won't have any hassles getting on the plane. Give it a go. So we're all through security, nice and easily. Benjamin's here, team's together. Ready to jump on that plane, Michael. There you go. You'll know you're on a fishing mission when Scott leaves a uh, swivel in his pocket and then gets checked by security. Hope you get our padded down. It's a lovely experience. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> all right, on to the plane down to Queenstown. Let's go. Everything looks in one piece, Michael. Yes, sir. It's a relief. Oh, very much a relief. <laughs> it's been sitting here like two or three days unattended um, uh, with a pretty crappy little trailer lock just connecting it to the ute. Look at that sign right there. 20 minutes. <laughs> Any time. 20 minutes. Three days. Like three days. Three days. <laughs> Not sure what the ticket will be, but that'll be all right. Uh, we'll cross that bridge in a minute. Yeah, all good. Let's go get that gear. Yeah, load up the gear. gear. And then uh, on the road. Hit the road, no mucking around. We've got. What a spot though. Time and look at the weather. Unreal. It's like 25 degrees, just sunshine. One of the most scenic parts of the world right here. And we're going into one that's even more scenic, so. Oh, yes! 
We're currently on time, but Scott's in the toilet, so generally that means that we'll be a little bit over time. <laughs> For now. But um, we've got zero stops between here and Lake Manapuri. Come on, Scott, let's go. Reels, that's an important one. Might need those, Michael. Fuel, that important? Fuel's pretty important. <laughs> yep. We've got a long way to cover in a little boat with a little tank, so yep. a few jerry cans to keep us topped up. Yeah, we've got plenty of gear, but we've um, did a bit of a test already, a bit of a water test to make sure we weren't overloaded, so got it down to the to the weight requirements of this vessel, so we're not overloaded, but yeah. It's going to be chock a block in there. But, uh, yes, across the lake yeah, now, so that's it. Block. That's always a good test for the how much weight you got in the boat because in fresh water everything sort of sinks a little bit that's and we've right. got the buoyancy of salt water yeah but so we'll close the ballast in this thing get that sort of sitting a bit higher in the water do that now Misty. and uh make sure we load it properly so it's nice and evenly distributed that weight and we'll have no dramas at all hopefully anyway back on the schedule trip that was a hard and fast procedure 10 minutes we're ready to hit the water so uh back on schedule again let's go migsy into it Back us in, eh? Yeah, Sweet, we've got a about a 40 minute drive across the lake, but that could be easily a little bit longer if it's a bit choppy, we'll take it a bit easier. So drop into the water here, park up on the hill, and uh, yeah, on to the lake. stressful with all that gear we sort of don't ever don't, didn't know how this is going to sit because we did a little test run but never know it never know skittles and tape, skittles and oh, tape. Got, my boss. got your boss coffee because yeah, that's right. essential oh yeah all right oh, i don't want that right now i'm just going to take the helm for a second yeah not. get us out of here mate what do we got here about a 10k steam that far yeah 10k wouldn't be in less i don't know yeah across this uh lake so freshwater lake here Get on the other side, suss out our vehicle, and then it's across to the salt. We're on the water, we're cruising quite nicely here, so that's good, good start. Ah, Manapuri, we made it. Touch the bottom in a second. Yep, there we go. Time to suss out our vehicle. Get this bad boy on Craig's trailer. Get over the hill. The boat bloody loved it. Loved it. Absolutely, Absolutely yeah. bloody loved it. Hell yeah. Oh. What's our time schedule, Maggie? Yeah, we're like? still only 15 minutes behind, so we're actually sitting pretty pretty. If this boat and tra if this trailer goes good, we're good. Go. Move. Okay, all right. Yeah. I think he's getting towed off now. Look at these vehicles, they're epic. Old fire trucks, tractors, diggers, well mainly only old fam, farm tractors, safaris, everything. And they just stay here and when you boat across the lake, you chuck it on these over the hill. And I think this is what we've got to deal with. Yeah. Does this help us now? Yeah. Alright mate, arc it up. Good as gold, absolutely loves it. Full tank, everything. No drama. Started up first pop, eh? Apparently. So that's good. 
get up Ship Creek on this oversized trailer, but that's alright, better than undersized. This wind's coming in, but hopefully it's going to be good on the other side. Still a little bit of a panic ahead of us, and big, big mush. It's not a, making it look, we're maybe making it look easy at this stage, but it's definitely not. Definitely a few uh, concerns slash nerves, but we'll be alright. Hopefully we've got the A team. But been here, done that, kind of. Actually, no, we haven't. This is the first time we've ever done this. She's down into four low. Press the diff lock button. Trailer's up for it, got our tie downs on there, Miggs has got a nice one on the front there, pulling it back, stopping it sliding forward, another one at the doing the opposite the other way, so should sit perfectly, but we'll check it along the way. Back on schedule, mate. Smooth as. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty smooth. Almost are. All right. Do you want to drive? I can do. Yeah. I don't mind driving. Have you ever driven before? We're in here now at Deep Cove. I was about to get a bit of fuel off old mate Billy if we can find him and then uh, chuck up Chip Creek in the drink and make our way out to the heads. So far still 15 minutes behind schedule but it's alright. We're going to get there I reckon. I can feel it. If Michael can find Billy then we'll get our fuel but at the moment he's wandering around aimlessly so. We found Billy. Found the fuel. Give us a uh, reel out there, Benjamin. Pretty flat here, isn't it? Oh, you fly. Oh. Wow. To the very brim. So she's chocker. Got another 80 litres in there, so that's more than enough. We've got double what we need to get back, so. That's always nice. Last bit of security. Hold. Woo! Oh, let's launch this bad boy. Just want to take a quick moment to thank Hyapool for supporting us and allowing us to bring you this epic side mission right here on YouTube. Hyapool is New Zealand's largest hire company. They've been operating for over 60 years and they've got 70 stores all over the country. If you're looking to get those DIY jobs done around the house or if you're a tradie needing that specialist equipment for the job site, they have everything you could possibly need to get the job done. Jump online and check it out yourself. We'll chuck the link in the description. The only way we can create this content and bring it to you completely free is with the backing from our sponsors and brand partners. So cheers Hire Paul, and now back to the action. Well, it's not a bad spot, that wind's coming in, but 
We'll plenty of shelter back up in there. And that's our digs for the evening, Michael. That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> pretty, pretty scenic little bay, this. Absolutely. Um, the wind's coming in here a little bit at the moment, yeah. but I think it's supposed to swing around and then it'll be, yeah, beautiful for anchoring the little boat in the bay. Yep. So. Let's unload all this gear anyway and get what we need to get out now and then suss out the boat. Sweet. Make a plan for the morning. Building. Boat's all moored up for the night. Scotty's going to swim in in a minute, but uh, we'll get the rest of this gear up to our digs and uh, yeah, maybe get on to some dinner. But it ain't flash. My phone's still dry. My phone's still dry, guys. I don't know. It's a lot deeper than what I thought. Uh, holy f that was way deeper than I thought. Way deep, right? It looks real shallow. Oh That's pretty much the end of day one, Michael. Yeah, it's complete. a success, mate. Yeah, very much a success. Made it to uh, oh, other than me falling in the drink, obviously. Oh, that was great. That yeah, was it was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dry now. Couldn't have been any better. I'm hungry. Grab a feed, hit the hay, and then. Pretty up much, in the morning yeah. and into the proper part of the Into mission. the big mission. And if it goes as well as today did, then oh. be happy days. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. All right, catch oh. you guys in the morning. of doing that but it's not hissing so probably get out to there On the rock. Uh, definitely not really where we wanted to be. Ideally we wanted to be on the other side. It seemed to be a bit fishier over there and a bit more current but anyway we're on the rock and we can give it a go. Um, definitely just waiting for the tuna and the kingies to bust up bait all around here. But the boys are anchoring the boat now sort of figuring out a system so hopefully we don't have to get too wet if we want to change spots um, and then I might start putting together a bit of gear. So we're on the rocks and let's uh, get some lures wet I guess. It's all good. Okay. 
Right, I'm on the rock, finally. We kind of got a system for the boat. We'll wait and see. It's right here though, so if something goes wrong, we can uh, quickly get to it. Uh, let's do some fishing, eh? Yeah, Kingy, well, I couldn't see because it's so glary, but a Kingy just smashed the lure right next to the rocks here. It must have followed me in. It would have been about 10 kilos. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's not a bad start. So the Kingies are here. Oh, that was exciting. Massive. Oh! oh, oh, oh. oh. Good size. It was good. Yeah, it's oh, one time, yeah! Oh! 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 oh. Holy Absolute explosions right at the rocks. Decent oh, sized king. Oh, come on, yep! Oh! Pack attacks! Absolute pack attacks of king right at the rocks. Come on! There's some big ones there. There's some big ones there. Oh, it's a matter of time. Matter of time. Yep, yep. Surely. Surely. Yep. Yeah, boy. We're on. We're on. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Here's my ghost stop, bro. Oh, no. Good fish. Okay, bro, you're going to have to run the rest of Good ledge. We're on. Hooked up. Absolute pack attack. I wanted to chase him around there, Scott. Go, go, go. Oh. oh, that's exciting. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on, old mate. Looks like a good fish, Michael. We're hooked up. And now we're just trying to oh, trying to yeah. land it. Right at the rocks. Pack attack of pingies. In Southland. Southland, you're fishing off the rocks. How good. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's good size. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that, was oh. Sick. that was sick. Oh, yeah, was sick. look how green he is! It's so awesome. Oh, oh short boys, good work. Wow. That's, a, that's an effort and a half. That's a cool fish. That is. It's almost my PB on the off the, rock. on the ro off the rocks. It would be surely. Surely, bit of a muck around getting the boat sorted, but yeah. well, it's about only about ten casts in. Ten, ten yeah. casts in, yeah. Oh man, I got that stick bait in my finger. Look at that. Oh, Scotty, no. That's all right. It just got my fingernail, and I was like, oh, and it was in there, and he was about to flash, and I was like, <laughs> grabbing onto his mouth, and then oh, he okay. grabbed the tail. Yeah. I was like, yeah. oh. All right. Absolutely perfectly fighting fit. Awesome to be able to get this fish on the rocks without having to sink the gaff. So, back in the drink with this guy. Still got plenty of day left. Back in the drink. Yeah, Woo! There we go. Oh. Oh. Yes! Yes, oh that, was boy. that was so good. That was cool. Doesn't get better than a pack attack at your feet, off the rocks, in an unknown place. Eh? That's as good as it gets right there. Yeah, on, on, chasers, oh, yes, oh, attack. pack attack, That's whoa, we'll go, there's a whole lot of them there, I've got, no got two, yeah, I'm on, get them in boys, double yeah, Michael, whoa, double hookup, holy shit, what do I do, ah. 
Um, the, it's, it's only a treble at the front. Come in, Ben, come in. Watch that, that back hook buried. If it's not, I'll have to let him run. <laughs> How exciting is this? This king isn't even really doing anything. He's just literally gone on a little wee run and he's just sitting there. He's holding him here. He's waiting for him to. Oh, here he goes. He's telling him to go under that ledge. That's yeah, alright, bro. You're all good. Just come up, come around if you need to, Mick. Another one right under him. That's Mick, that's Mick, that's Mick. Uh, mad packet out of nowhere, it just happened. Oh, I was just watching my lure, I wasn't rolling on my GoPro, but it just flew out of the water sideways and smoked the lure. Oh, that's exciting, Kingy's off the rocks. Oh, there's a big one next to it, that one's even bigger. Oh, cross, 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 under, under. Come under, Oh, no, it's gone the other way. Under, 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 Scott, under, Scott, under. Interesting though, these fish, normally kingies would be going for the reef and trying to cut you off. I've kind of gone for the reef, but keep coming back up again. Weird, but we'll take it because there's some reefs down there. 200 pound leader, we've got 80 pound braid, so there's plenty of, put plenty of herd on these fish when we need to, and we've got the grunter. And we've got these boots. And they're still green there. Yes, yeah. big Woohoo! Yes. Yeah, boys. Yeah, boys. Double hook up. Double oh, okay. Couple of solid kings on right here. That Holy is yeah. sick. Lance. Shots. How good really is that? Yeah, shot. Benjamin. Shot, mate. Cheers. Oh, boys. Good. I'll whip that hook out now. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that was cool. Massive pack attack. There's so many kings in under there. That's a fatty too, man. They're fat. <laughs> Oh, yes, boys. Yeah, Michael. If we're not catching bluefin tuna, this is not a bad bike catch, bro. We'll take the kings. We'll take the kings. It's still an epic land based adventure so yeah. far. This is cool. This is sick. Oh, just pack attacked out of the water, as good as it gets. Wouldn't have it any other way. Back in the drink for these fellas. Yep. Sick. Back in the drink. Look, careful, Scotty. Jesus, your boots. Double the healthy king straight back in the drink. From whence they came. Back in the drink. Whoa. Three. Yes! It is sick! Gangs on stick baits! Yes, Benjamin! Yeah, mate! Woo! 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 That was sick! That was hectic! The big explosion, and then there's this three or four underneath it, then mid cast, bang, straight away! My stick bait was all tangled up, yeah, didn't matter! Didn't matter. <laughs> Just whack! not going too bad, we're still going to persevere with the stick baits here for a little bit longer. I mean the wind's coming in pretty hard, it's probably hard to tell exactly how hard it's coming in but it's pretty breezy, making things a bit difficult. Cast is sort of not going as far as we'd like, we're getting wind knots but if we can get a cast in every sort of hour or so potentially the kingies are coming through. So far that's what's been happening anyway so he's got to have a stick bait in the water at all times, someone hopefully and then if it's the right one with the right action you get a hit. So yeah so far absolutely zero complaints. The primary target's obviously a bluefin tuna, but like we said before, we will take yellowtail kingfish when they're on offer because off the rocks especially, there's not much better than that. 
me. I'm going to bung another cast out there and hope I don't get another wind. I've had like six so far. Ridiculous. But hey, we're soldiering on. Get him, mate.